Bank and Experiment? I am sure many of you have heard about this experiment before. And if you have not then you are in a right place at a right time. What actually is Gdank an experiment? And how do we perform this experiment? You might be wondering have you ever been taught about this experiment in school or colleges? And if yes then when and why? It might be you have never taught about this experiment. Because this experiment is something really different. We have probably carried out different types of experiment in our day-to-day -day life. And obviously every experiment makes sense to you. But, Denkin experiment is a hypothetical situation in which a hypothesis or principle is laid out for the purpose of thinking through its consequences. Or in another word, it is an imagined sequence of events that are used to illustrate or investigate the consequences of a given action or condition, especially in philosophy and theoretical physics. Thought experiments have a rich and complex history, stretching back to the ancient Greeks and Romans. As a mental model, they have enriched many of our greatest intellectual advances, from philosophy to quantum mechanics. These experiments are performed in the imagination. Albert Einstein used thought experiments for some of his most important discoveries. The most famous of these thought experiments was on a beam of light. What would happen if you could catch up to a beam of light as it moved he asked himself. The answers led him down a different path toward time, which led to the special theory of relativity. The main purpose of Dankin experiment is to encourage speculation, logical thinking and to change paradigms. It pushes us outside our comfort zone by forcing us to confront questions we cannot answer with ease. They reveal that we do not know everything and some things cannot be known. We set up some situations. We observe what happens, then we try to draw appropriate conclusions. In this way, thought experiments resemble real experiments, except that they are an experiment in the mind. Thank you.